So we've confirmed that the water is circulating and our water pump is turned on. Now we're ready to connect the water chiller. If the water is not circulating, do not connect the water chiller to power or connect it, but make sure it's in the off position. So we're gonna connect it to power, the water chiller, and let's take a look at it. So the water chiller is on. You will see the numbers flash. And what's gonna happen is that it's initializing right now and the default set value is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The top is the present value. So this is the temperature, current temperature of the water. And you will see that the cold uh, LED green icon is flashing green. This means that the system is getting ready to start cooling the water. The process of the blinking green LED is about four to five minutes while it's initializing the chiller. So to change the temperature, we will press the uh, set button and let's set it to 45 and let it go. That's how you change the temperature. Okay, so when the green LED light is not blinking anymore and the fan is spinning, the, your chiller is in the cooling mode. So it will cool down the water from 67 to 45. This will take a couple hours depending on the outdoor temperature and other factors. But once the chiller cools it down to 45, it will go to the complete mode and it will go into idle state until the present value goes from 45 to 50. It works like a thermostat. When the present value goes up by five degrees to 50, then it will turn on, go into the cooling mode and bring it down to 45. And it will keep doing that throughout the day. All right, so we have our water pump, we have our water chiller all connected to the power strip. Now we're gonna connect the UV sanitizer here. Now the UV is on. If you have ozone, now is the time to connect the ozone. Although we do recommend getting a digital timer for the ozone generator because you do not want to run the ozone generator 24-7. You want to run it roughly 60 minutes per 24 hours because when you turn on the ozone generator and you will see bubbles going into your water, you are oxidizing the water. You are introducing a gas into your system. So only run it for 60 minutes per 24 hours. That's with ozone. With UV, you can have it on 24 seven power because it works all the time. And the bulb in the UV is good for around 8,000 hours, which is one year. And now I, uh, you see that all of our electrical is inside this waterproof box because we are outside and we have a cover for here to make this waterproof. If you guys are inside, you do not need this as a requirement, but make sure all of your electrical components are labeled. They're outside of the system and there's a rocker switch uh, available because this is a good way for troubleshooting your system or if you wanna turn just part of the system off and on, this is a good way to uh, work with your setup. Congratulations, we have a system with water circulating throughout the Revex Cold Plunge. We have everything connected, the chiller is cooling the water. Now we're ready to insulate the water container. We'll strap this down, make sure it's nice and tight. And the water chiller was at 68, it's already at 64, and it only has been 10 minutes of working. So we're gonna close everything up and let the chiller cool the water down. Congratulations, everything is set up. We wish you happy cold plunging. And if you have any questions, please make sure to follow our maintenance and monitoring guide. There's a lot of useful information in there that you will find, but we welcome you to the Revex community and please tag us in social media, like this video on YouTube, and please leave us comments and provide your feedback. Thank you very much.